Hi everyone, welcome back to Faithful You and uh, welcome back to my little corner of the internet. Uh, this is uh, not a normal knitting podcast today. This is part of my drum carding series on how to use a drum carder and uh, how to spin from the different things that we create on the drum carder. So welcome back to all my returning viewers. It's lovely to have you here. And thank you for all the lovely comments that you've been leaving in the comments section below. Uh, beneath the videos that we've done so far in this series. It's been very encouraging to see uh, how much you've all been guessing from it. And uh, it's lovely to see that some of you are making decisions to buy spinning wheels and drum carders. So I hope this series is helping you in uh, making your decision as to what to buy and uh, what sorts of things to look out for. I've got a classic carder and I'll turn you around and show you that in a minute and I paid about £400 for mine I think and to, you can get additional drums to go with it in different colours so that you know what um, drum to look out for for each different type of fibre you want to spin. So today we are going to, we've already done in this series so far, we've looked at the equipment that you need for carding wool. That was the first episode. And the second one that we did was how to do roll lags and take the fibre off the drum carder. I've already got the fibre prepared and uh, we just need to add in the bits of sparkle and things like that and then we can take it off the drum. So uh, as I say, I've already got things ready. So I've already got my fibres prepared. I've already got my big bin of sparkly bits. I keep it in this big drawer here. Um, it's one of those plastic storage drawer tower things that you get. And I've got all my little sparkly bits in there and my locks and things like that. So the second one we're going to do is taking it off um, as a bat. And that's going to be this one. Again, I sorted out some sequins, but uh, I'm not sure that I'm going to use them. So that's our next colour palette. And the grey is going to be our main colour, which again, I think is merino. Um, and then the rest of our colours, if I can get it off. These are going to be our bumps in this one. So what I'm thinking of doing is thick and thin and then doing it into coils. And then with this one with the green in this one here I'm thinking of just spinning a straightforward yarn and then plying it with this and with the roll legs just spinning a straightforward yarn with that and then plying that with the main colour that's in that one which I haven't got it with me at the moment um, but this one I think will look really really nice as bumps as a contrast to uh, the yarns that we've already got. So that's that. So the bat that we're going to do is this kind of thing. It's when you take it off in a big long sort of piece like this. And I can take off 100 grams at once on my drum carder. And uh, when you want to spin from it, you just pull it apart and spin from individual pieces. You could take it apart again like that and again until you get the thickness that you want to spin from and as you can see you can take it apart and then spin it in very fine thicknesses but it just it makes life an awful lot easier taking it off as a big bat and you can store them rolled up like that and then they fold up nice and flat you could wrap them in paper We'll put ribbon round them and then just spin them as you go. So that was one I've done the other day. That's some Welsh Mountain. So today we're going to do taking it off as a bat because I want to do the individual colours because I want to do um, a technique called fractal spinning which is when you divide all the different colours up into equal amounts of yarn or a fraction, uh, sort of 50% of one, 10, 5, 4, 3 until you get your 100%, like fractions. But uh, you're doing it with yarn. So this is the first thing I'm going to do. I think some of these are actually done. Can't quite remember. It looks like this one's got some sparkly bits in it already. So I must have done them already. But it won't hurt to put them through the drum carder again. I don't think I did them all. I think I only did one. Yeah, I've only done the one. So we'll start again. So I'll just turn the camera around. Put you down to the drum carder. 
and uh, show you what I'm going to be doing. So I'll see you at the drum carder. Okay, so this is my drum carder and this is called a classic carder. Just turn you up a little bit, a little bit down a bit more. There you go. Yeah, this is called my classic carder. It comes with one of these, which is called a doffer. You want this little thing here. There's a groove in it there. And that is where you put the point to take the fibre off. So you, you get one of these with it. You'll also get three clamps with it. And that's for clamping it onto the table uh, to make it safe so it doesn't go anywhere. So just pull you back again. And as I say, I've got a... Um, wide tooth comb because I like doing raw fibre and uh, you can get different ones the fine tooth comb the 72 uh, pin and you can also get the 42 which is the one I've got um, but I do want to say I am saving up to buy the other one so I can card alpaca and mohair angora rabbit fur all the very fine furs that you can't really card on this because it just gets gnarled up in this drum so I do want to buy um, another drum which is about £100, £170, something like that and uh, it'll mean I can card finer fibre so what I've picked out is for my fibres today is this sparkle here is going to go in this one and then we've got this aluminous pink it's this, this aluminous pink is going to go in this one And then the yellow and the green, I've got this thing here called Tribal Nylon, which is this, this here. I'm going to use the green on this one. I might put some of the pink in with my pink. Um, my blue is, is already done. And again, I've got this Tribal Nylon here, which is this stuff which I buy in Wingham's. And you can strip off the individual colours and pop them in. So I'm going to do the yellow and the orange with this one. So that's for that one. And then I've got this thing called rose fibre. Which is a bit similar to silk. But it's made out of roses as far as I know. And I'm going to pop that in with the grey. With this one here. And put like a silk have it like a, a silk and a merino in this one so that's that right first off I think we'll do the pink now this is going to be our bats so I'm going to put each colour through I'm going to put each colour through separately so I'll take that off Right, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a technique called a sandwich, which is just basically, you're making it like you would make a sandwich. You spread out your sparkle on there, like that. It is nylon. But it does add a nice effect and a nice bit of texture and depth to the yarn. So you could use your next layer to cover over that sparkle. So it doesn't get stuck on your drum. Like that. You hold your hand on it. get any stuck on your little drum just peel it off like that but that's locked in on there now so we just do that again it's very cold here today so you'll have to excuse me if I'm fumbling about a bit
I don't want to pile loads of it on. It's not like in that nylon. Right. What you, what you could do is you could then put another colour next to this one, but I don't want to. I want to keep them separate. I want to keep these colours separate anyway. So we'll peel that off. This is now what's called a mini bat. You're just peeling it off the drum, making sure that you get all the fibres off. You can roll it up on itself like that. And try and peel it back. Or you can simply just use this, which is your doffer and pop it through the teeth. But I don't like doing that too much because I don't want to stretch out my teeth on the cardo. Right, so there's our little mini bass. So that's our first one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it through again. And I'm not going to add any more nylon. I'm just going to simply pop it through and let it all mix in. Don't want to put it through all in one big piece because it'll just clog your drum up. You might do with this one, just fold it in half, pop it through twice. Now I'll do the grey and I'll show you putting the silk in and taking it off the drum card as a full bat, not as mini bats. These are called minis because you've not filled up all your drum and they're only a small amount of fibre. Which is the great thing about a drum carder is you can do a lot in a small space of time but you can do as much on the drum as you want. You don't have to have a large amount of fibre. So there we go. Nice fluffy sparkly bat. So that's our first one. We've already got our blue one done, this one. This is already done as well. So that's two. Right, let's do this one. I would normally clean the drum, but because it's all going in the same yarn, I'm not too bothered. So, open up your fibre. If you're buying fibre off the internet, you may buy it already as a bat. And this is how it would arrive. So I'm just going to peel it apart, like that, snap a bit off there, spread it out so it fills the whole of your drum tray, this one here. Don't want any really thick bits, you want to make sure it's all nicely teased apart. And then feed it in. I've got little bits of pink mixed in with that but I'm not bothered. So do the same thing again. Separate it like that. 
and then open it out. And if you make sure you feed, if you fill up your drum place here, you get more done. Right, let's add a bit of this. So you don't want a lot of this, you only want little bits. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do what's called trickling it on the drum. If you get your nice open end, like that, turn your drum, gently, Now, as you can see, we've got some nice rose fibre on there now. So what I'll do is, I'll take my fibre again. And we'll do that over the top. Right, that's all all great. Take it off and pop it back on again just to make sure we've mixed in those fibres. So that's it after it's first pass, we're going to put it through again. So now we've made it into a mini bath and I don't know whether you can see whether the light's too bright, the sun, but we've got a nice bit of um, mixed um, rose fibre in with the yarn, in with the fibre. So that's ready now. Oh, I thought that was a little bit short, so I've missed half. Right, so let's do a full bath. when it gets stuck just give it a little like that and it'll lo usually loosen around the teeth don't yank it because you damage your teeth right so you've got to find this bit here this piece of wood 
you want to do that and then you want to peel it off just the same as we did for the mini bats but this will come off better because you've got more fibre so this will come off easier there we go so that was a lot quicker now I want to put it through again just to make sure I've got all that fibre mixed in that rose fibre so we'll just quickly pop it back through quick as that I've made a boo-boo I'm going to put this through on top as well and then we've done all of it together this was our little mini bat so we just add that in right that's that so that's all that fibre now I'm not going to bother cleaning the drum in between um, colours because it's all going into the one yarn so it doesn't really matter. Well I don't, I, I don't mind. It's nice to have a bit of colour, other bits mixed in anyway. Because this has got a bit of the pink left in it. Peel it off. Just using this to make sure it's all out from your teeth. You could use a porcupine quill or a chopstick. A lot of people say not to use that on the finer teeth. But this is a quite a wide tooth drum so it doesn't really matter. So this is our, our bath. Looks very pretty with its bits of silk in it. So all we do is we take the bat, we roll it up and that's ready. There we go, our fibre all nicely mixed in and uh, looking good. Sorry about the light from the sun, but the sun's just going down so it's about four o'clock. It's about four o'clock and the sun's just going down. So I'm going to take all the little, all the bigger bits that's left. I think that's it. Right, that's that. Right, okay, so it's the next day and unfortunately I didn't get a chance to finish filming yesterday when I was at the drum carder. But uh, we finished, I finished all the drum carding on the carder now and I finished all the blending and blending all the sparkly stuff in. So this is what we've got so far. Looking really nice. This pewter colour here is mixed with silk instead of sparkle. I decided to do it with something different and I've put in rose fibre. It's not silk but it's rose fibre but it has the same effect as silk. Um, so it's a plant-based fibre that's blended in with, I think this is merino, but I'm not sure. But this is from um, Fibre Hut. It was in one of their blending boxes, one of their random boxes. You just order it and uh, they send you a random box of either natural colours or coloured colours. Um, you can have things for spinning, felting, different types of things. So I got this one. So this is the pewter. Then the pill pink. I don't know whether you can see whether the camera's going to pick it up, but it's got nicer bits of sparkly pink in. And then we've got the blue, 
and this has got whether you can see in the lace it's got sparkly bits of blue and then we've got this pink colour and it's got sparkly bits you see that there little purpley bit and then this one's got orange sparkle you can see that one quite well it's got gold in this one this one's got green not quite picking it up in this light because it's quite dark you can see that no it's not picking it up very well is it and then this one's got gold in it that's gold and yellow in it so the camera's just picking me up <laughs> so yeah we've got yellow with sparkle green with green sparkle orange with gold sparkle pink with pink sparkle blue with blue sparkle more pink I love this pink this pink's awesome and you can see the sparkling in that now and then we've got our pewter so that's our colour palette for that one now I've had a change of plan and I've decided I'm not going to weave with it what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit it up into yarn uh, I'm going to spin it into yarn and I'm going to spin the yarn so I can knit with it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit it up into a sweater or a cardigan for the summer and I'm going to mix all the colours together and we're going to see what we come up with and just knit a random coloured cardigan. I've seen one on the internet and um, it was on YouTube I think on one of these little affiliate advert things at the side and it was a gorgeous cardigan, it was an elongated stitch cardigan and uh, it was a long, cosy, oversized cardigan and I thought, you know, that's just perfect for the summer for a summer's evening when um, you've got a nice long flowy dress or a nice flowy skirt on pop this cardigan over the top, sitting out on the porch of my knitting uh, with a fire and uh, yeah, just sitting in this nice slouchy oversized cardigan so that's what I envisage for this so that's that one. We've got our Rolex and they're in the house at the moment. And they've got a similar colour palette to these but they came off the drum carder using knitting needles and making them into sausages. And this one just makes it into a big fluffy bat. So that's that. The next one we've got is this one. I haven't done it yet but uh, I am looking forward to doing this one. This one's going to come off with a diz. If I can find my diz, no, it's not in there. It's around here somewhere. It's just a thing with a hole in and you just pull it off as one big long sausage. So that's what we're going to do with this one. Um, and we have this colour pink, this colour yellow, and these I've dyed myself. This colour pink I've dyed myself um, in the pan. And then this colour purple I've dyed myself. And these are Clanwenog sheep. So they're a different fibre, this is Merino, uh, that one's a Clan Wenog, that was one I dyed myself, <coughs> that's the same yellow as this one, but just got done on a different technique on the carder. And then we've got this green, which is a Merino, and then they, like we've got this one, we've got this one, so this is going to be our plying, my plying thread and uh, I'm going to spin that on its own as it is and then I'm going to ply it with these and we'll see how we get on so I don't know how it's going to mix when it comes to knitting it up but uh, I'm just going to do a continuous spin um, I'm going to spin one and then I'm going to spin this one and then I'm going to spin this one here and um, once I've blended it on the carder and then we're just going to see how it turns out once it comes off so yeah looking forward to it really looking forward to it. what I might do is I've got this one and I've got this one and I've got a blue I think as my plying thread so what I might do is when I come to ply the threads together is do a bit of this a bit of the blue and then a bit of this and do that alternately and then that will give a bit of continuity then when it comes to be knit so I'm going to make up my own pattern again because I'm really enjoying coming up with my own patterns for my hand spun yarn. It's really enjoyable. I've made my own sock pattern. I've made my own hat pattern. I've got my own tank top pattern. 
and uh, now I just want my own cardigan pattern and they're just going to be my base for my wardrobe I can always add to them I can always alter them and do different things to them but they're just things that I feel comfortable that I'm enjoying wearing so yeah so this is the one we've done this week and then for next week or for next time I should say I will have this one done so I'm really looking forward to getting it done getting it finished getting it spun and then getting it knit so yeah unfortunately I was going to do it as a big long series and I just haven't got the time I really haven't got the time so I thought well I'll just show you these techniques and then I'll show you a little bit of me spinning off each one in the, in another video so I'll show you me spinning off the roll lag in, in, in a, a video section and then I'll show you another section of me spinning off these bats here and then I'll show you another section of me spinning off these um, and put it all together in one video so you'll have about five minutes of me showing you each technique spinning it from each one and uh, you'll have a good idea when you buy a spinning wheel or a drum carder of what you want to do with it so yeah so I think that's it for this video I'm going to go back in it's dark it's cold and uh, I want to get back in front of the fire so I hope you enjoy my video and I will see you next time so there's a knitting podcast coming out this Sunday um, on the oh what date will it be on Sunday is it the 26th I think it's the 26th or the 27th do you know I don't know I can never tell what dates we're up to so yeah anyway I'll see you again soon so take care for now bye for now bye bye